Why is for Yamaha? It is impossible to consider the 790 adventure without the context of the Yamaha Tenere T700. And this is not a slagging off, no, this is a tribute. There are many ways of doing things, some suit some people better than others. I love that Tenere 700, but chose the 790 adventure to suit me. Here's why. Why, get it? I really wanted a T700. When I was a boy, me and my mate Sean used to cycle 25 miles on a Saturday to the nearest motorbike dealership. We had no money, but we could get brochures, and the brochures we treasured the most were Yamaha Enduro bikes. Back then it was a very different world. Nobody had a pot to urinate in, so a new motorcycle was never going to happen. That and I was 14. Anyway, at the other end of my life now, though not all the way I hope, I was finally in a position to buy a brand new bike. And it would be an adventure bike, and I knew exactly what I wanted. White with red. However, delays, the adverts went on forever but the bike never appeared. And then, when it did, you could buy it over the internet without ever trying it. That was back early last year of course, and that world was a very different place. I'd also been aware of the impending 790 adventure, but the specs I'd seen suggested a seat height of 880mm. I can stop the bike one footed with the best of them, but it put me off. 99% of the time it's fine, but sometimes there's those moments, and picking up a bike in the middle of city traffic is not my idea of fun. Anyhow, while waiting, I realised that the Tenere also had a tall seat of 875mm. Lowering kit aside, which I did not want on a brand new bike, as I think the bike was designed to be what it is, I didn't want to modify it from new. And again, it was also further delayed, and I did not actually get to sit on one until the autumn. I'm basically a forward thinking person, in that I like new developments. I get that many people, especially of my age, appreciate the no-nonsense simplicity of the Yamaha, and I reckon it will be the most reliable of all the middleweight adventure bikes. It doesn't have a TFT to fog up for a start. But, if something is available which might save you, and you can afford it, for the once and only time in my life I was lucky I could afford it, then why not have it? Also, looking carefully, the 790 Adventure S had the seat height I wanted, 830mm. So, following a test ride, and a deep think, I went with the Adventure. I'm really happy with the bike. I had a whole summer in the previous pre-coronavirus world to ride in. The Yamaha would not have arrived in time. And the 790 is a blast. I've had so much fun, I've got no regrets at all. But I still love that Tenere. Hmm, maybe a second-hand one with a lowering kit one day. Maybe.